I came to, I came to put cars on them and tell them they will never be rich. The whole family? Oh, yes. You have cursed the whole family? Yes. How have you entered there? They call on me. I want you to say it out loud again. And say this time, the gates of hell shall not prevail against me. The gates of hell shall not prevail against me. As long as I stay in Christ. As long as I stay in Christ. Say it again. The gates of hell shall, shall not, not prevail against me. As long as, long as I stay in Christ. As I stay in Christ. Hallelujah. Yo, I thought y'all would have shot. I didn't, I should have to tell you shout. Come on. Shout on it, shout on it. Put a prize on it. Put a prize on it. Put a prize on it. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Now let's read verse 19 so I can get out of your way. Verse 19. And I will give unto thee. I will give unto you. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. The keys to the kingdom. Of. Of the kingdom. Not to the kingdom. Oh. Hallelujah. He said, I'll give you the keys, S on the end, of the kingdom. Amen. There are no keys to the kingdom. There's one key to the kingdom. That's salvation. Amen. The only way you can enter the kingdom, you got to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. One key. One key, one door. That's the only way to enter. If you don't accept him yet, then that means you're not in the kingdom yet. And if you ain't in the kingdom yet, he's not going to give you the keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. When you accept the Lord as your savior, you come, you, 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 you enter the foyer of the kingdom. And it's so sad. Many people, Christians have accepted the Lord they entered the foyer and they died in the foyer. Never went further than the foyer in the kingdom of God. Because they never receive the keys of the kingdom. Or even if they receive the keys of the kingdom, they never took time to figure out how to work the keys of the kingdom. Bring me my keys, bring me my lock. Hallelujah. He said, I will give you keys yes. of the kingdom. Yes, sir. That whatsoever you, you what? shall go ahead. Whatsoever you shall bind on earth, you bind on earth shall be bound. Shall in be bound in heaven. Don't go too far. We need to have. Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you whatsoever shall loose, you loose on earth, earth shall be loosed in heaven. And in heaven, yeah, I don't, I don't version reading really like this. Whatsoever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth is already loose in heaven. So, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Now, see, these are the keys to open doors in the kingdom of God. Not to open the door to enter. I already explained that to you. He said, I give you keys. Now, I can give you all. I can give you the keys. And then I can say to him, open this lock for me. Come and open this lock for me. He have the keys. On that key, bunch of keys, is one key. Now, he has a little idea what he's looking for because he's looking for a key where can open a lock. So he has an idea what he's looking for. He knows it's not going to be a key that's look like the key that opened the house door. But let's see if he's good enough to find the right key anyhow. See, all of you all have keys. When you enter God and you became a child of God and you enter the kingdom, he gave you keys. The keys is in your hand. Your keys represent authority. Your key is the thing that God gave you to open the door. But you got to understand, there is a key for every door. And if you want to be, you want to be blessed, you got to find the key to open the door of blessings. If you want to be healed, you got to find the key that will open the door of healing. Hallelujah. Let's see if he got it. You don't try. I wish you don't try. And he ain't get it yet. Hallelujah. I want you to lock it out. 
You he tried too. And he and he couldn't find it. Let's see if this is the right one. Let me just see if he figured it out. Remember now, you already tried twice. And he got it now. Amen. Now what happens is that's the right key. Some of you get your keys. And when you tried the first time and, no, and the door didn't open, you gave up. You said, God, you give me these balls. Look at this bunch of keys, Lord. You give me this whole big bunch of keys. And you tell me now, uh, what am I supposed to do with these keys? You supposed to learn which key is going to unlock your blessing. Which key is going to help you bind the demons. Which key is going to help you bind sickness. And you got to understand, some keys are for locking. Some keys are for opening. You got to learn which key to lock and bind with. Which key you use to loose your blessing with. Some you lose with. So you gotta look at the person on the side. You say you gotta figure out the keys. You gotta figure out which one. Let me let me help you right now. Some of you binding the devil. You can't bind the devil. It's time to be bound. He ain't come yet. You could bind demons. You could bind the demons. The devil time to be bound ain't come yet. Jesus gonna do that when he come back. He gonna lock him up and show him in the pit of hell. When he comes back. So don't waste time with you bind, you bind demons. You bind evil spirit. You bind wickedness that is trying to come against you. You bind wicked people that is trying to work against you. Learn how to use the keys. He said, Behold, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever, whenever you bind, I would back you up in heaven. I would bind it too. Whenever you lose, I will back you up in heaven. I will loose you too. As long as it's in the right accord with God. And so, You can't use this key. This is this is the lock that is holding back your financial miracle. This is a lock that needs to be loose. See, you can't bind this now. This already bind. It's locked. You know you should bind in someone already bound. So you need it to be loose. Hallelujah. Your finances is already bound. Ain't nothing coming to you. So you need to loose cause. Say, God, I loose my finances from wherever they are being holed up so that they can come to me. You all getting this? Please tell me you all getting it. But now I got to find the key to loose the thing. Now, if you have a little bit of common sense, you could see this in the right key. Why are you gonna stay a whole year trying to get this open? Using you could see common sense could tell you this one ain't working here. Never gonna work here. Now you see what I'm saying, bro? That's why you put that. You try that one on the side. Don't throw it away because you may need it later on down the road. You put that to the side. And you say, I gotta try another key. And so you try another key and you take this one now, which looks almost like this one. You might get it. Still can't even get it. Now you say, this look, this look like this could work. But it ain't working. Don't spend the, the next six months trying to make this work. That's how some of you do. You meet somebody and you realize you and, the, you and them are not compatible. You and them ain't getting along good. You're always at war with each other, but you spend a whole year trying to make it work. That's the wrong one. Put that aside. Let's try again. This 
one get in. She said, Hallelujah. See, you 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 should be excited if it, it fit the whole. You should get excited now. Hallelujah. This the, remember this locking down. This is the Lord that opened up your, your relief financially. You should be getting excited. Well, that one and a slipping easy so it looked like it looks like the right key. And then you turn it on the lock, flip open. Hallelujah. You should be praising God. You just lose your financial breakthrough. You just lose financial miracles. You just lose money, supernatural money that comes from everywhere. You are the praise your God. That's all y'all gonna give it. That's all I'm gonna get. I'm getting out your way. That's all y'all gonna give it. Yes. And now, Mama, the stomach has gone in. All them detox I drink in do this. Bahamas, are you ready? It's time to experience the supernatural power of God like never before. Join Kingdom Generals, Apostle Edison, and Prophetess Maddie Nottage for the life-changing, supernatural, resurrection, Bahamas revival under the theme, Rise Up and Walk. But then God is saying, I want to bless you with a house. I want to give you a house that you did not have to buy. I want to give you property that you did not have to buy. I want to give you land that you did not have to buy. I want to bless your children. I want to bless everything in your life. And then if you do it spiritually, you don't have to go through all of the catch all of the hell that you catch if you try to do it naturally. You can't let people talk you out uh, or talk you into uh, the wrong things uh, and the wrong place. Uh, I'm not talking to anyone today. Uh, you can't let them tell you, uh, come do this and do that. Uh, come go here and go there. Uh, come try this and try that. Uh, you gotta hear what the prophet's saying. Uh, you gotta hear what God's saying. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, being led uh, by the Spirit of God. All roads lead to Believer's Faith Outreach Ministries International Carmichael Road West opposite John Shea number 8. Friday, March 30th through Sunday, April 1st, 2018 at 7.30 p.m. nightly. Come and experience the supernatural pool of miracles and receive your miracle, healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Also, join us for the Dynamic Prayerversity Session, Saturday, March 31st at 10 a.m. Call 698-1383 or 888-825-7568. Visit our website at believersfaith.com or maddynottage.org. All seats are free. Bring the entire family as we commemorate the power of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All are welcome. Make plans now to attend. In the name of Jesus, every-
every hindering spirit, every wicked spirit that have been sent by my ancestors to hinder me, to hinder my progress, you demon that are hindering my progress, you wicked spirit, you spirit of witchcraft, in the mighty name of Jesus, tonight I command you to die. I command you to die by the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Manifest, come out of my life. Manifest, come out of my family. Go, go, work it, pray, pray, pray. Every foul spirit of bondage, every wicked spirit hindering you tonight in the name of Jesus. Manifest yourself. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You snake. You serpent spirit. In the name of Jesus. I destroy you tonight by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I evict you. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. As they are manifesting, bring them out. Come out, out, out. Wherever you are, under the song of my voice. Wherever you are, under the song of my voice. Out, 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 out. Come out of me, come out of me. I refuse to be bound. I refuse to be bound. Out of me, come out of me now. Out of me now. Now, when you go to battle, pray, 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 pray. If they are manifesting, bring them out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I command you out. I command you out. Come out of my life. Come out of my life. Come out of my life. You demon called destiny blocker. You demon called destiny blocker. You are blocking my destiny. You are blocking my destiny. You are blocking my progress. I command you out. I command you out. In the name of Jesus. You demon. You demon. Call destiny blocker. Come out. Come out. Out of me. Out of me. Out of me. Out. Out. Come out of her. Somewhere you go outside, is there somewhere you go to wash? Yeah, outside in front of the door. Huh? In front of the door. I see you washing outside. Yes. In front of a door. Oh, there's a demon spirit that has been assigned there. And I'm seeing the powers like there's something that was placed there. But every you are there washing, and I'm seeing now you washing, but I'm seeing somebody else washing with you. My mother. You're a Christian, Mama? Yes. Praise God. Have you ever been to which doctor? Hmm? When we was growing up, when we was a little younger, she used to do plenty with traffic with my with, with um some cousin of ours. They would do little stuff inside the house. <laughs> the powers is at your back door. Your whole family need deliverance. Oh. <gasps> I destroy your altar. Leave her. <clears throat> Go from her. Watch her. <clears throat> Go from her. 
I break your powers. Break your altars. I break your altars. I break your altars now. Go ahead. Go. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Fire only goes over you. I bind your powers. I bind your powers. I bind you, demon, in Jesus' name. Watch now as God uses prophetess Maddie Nottage to subdue this demonic spirit in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Angel of the Lord. Angel of the Lord. Subdue this demon now. Subdue him now. Subdue him now. In Jesus Christ's name, you power of witchcraft, wherever you have attacked this woman, I command you to leave tonight. We have destroyed your altar. Her mother has renounced your powers. You no longer have authority over this family. You no longer have authority over his family. Now I command you, in Jesus Christ's name, come out of this body and go. It's coming out. It's coming out. Turn it aside, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. Out. Come out in Jesus Christ's name. Out in Jesus Christ's name. Come out, out, spit your way out, come out. Clog your way out. I beat you with stripes upon your back. Out. Out in Jesus Christ's name. Out. You serpent, come out. Out of her! Why don't Loose you this leave woman! Me alone. Why don't you leave me alone? I'm comfortable and you leave me alone. Who are you? Leave me alone. Who are you? <laughs> Who sent for you? Who are you? They called for me. Who are you? <laughs> they called for me. Who are you? I'm their pain. <laughs> you are their pain. The burden. Who are you? What is your name? What are you doing here? Their pain, their burden? Yes. Who are you in this family? I came to stop their blessing. Okay. I came to, I came to put curse on them and tell them they will never be rich. The whole family? Oh, yes. You have cursed the whole family? Yes. How have you entered there? They call on me. Who is they? Which they call on you? He's not here anymore. He died. Oh, the father? Huh? He died. Where is your altar? In the grave. In the grave. Your altar's in the graveyard. Who died? My daddy. Your daddy, when he died? Um, two years ago. Two years ago. He opened the door. He was working with Scrap. Yes. Jesus. I destroy every altar in this family. I destroy your altar of witchcraft. I destroy your ancestral altars. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are leaving now. Every power sent to Margaret. In Jesus Christ's name, I destroy it. In the name of Jesus. I destroy it from her in the name life. Of Jesus. I take it from her life. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus, one more time. In Jesus Christ's name, you demon, you are leaving now. In Jesus Christ's name, I destroy your powers from this family. I destroy your altar in this family. Every evil foundation, I destroy you. In the name of Jesus. In this family, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I kill you tonight. Go, go, go. 
I set you free tonight. Can you hear me? Huh? Yes, ma'am. I set you free. Thank you, Lord. I break the curse from your family. I put upon you the sacred oil upon your forehead, my mom. That your fight will be over the spirit of violence, murder, anger, rage. It's been warring with you. Even profanity. Hey, that's not your portion. You, I break it now. And go from her in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. The Spirit of God continues to move mightily amongst His people. And now, here are some testimonies from our recent services. To be honest, I don't know what happened. So I just thank God for the delivering my family, delivering me from witchcraft and whatever demonic spirit. I just say, give God thanks. Me and, me and my family, we've been under bondage for a little while now. From since we was like young children, um, my mother and my father, they practice witchcraft. And just a couple of weeks ago, my sister found out about this, this prophet, um, Nadi not, Nottage. Not so she asked us if we would like to come. So we said yes. So now the whole family decided to come. And when we came here, we got our deliverance. I, it was awesome. I come from Germany and I was uh, first I was in Dominican Republic and I said before I go Germany I want to come here to for deliverance because I I, I, I had so many things in my, my my head and I said I, I have to solve this and was a spiritual problems and I can say uh, God used the prophetess to deliver me thank you so much thanks God so you guys, my name is Selena Briones. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm currently in Nassau, Bahamas at uh, the, the Edison and Matt uh, Church. It's been an amazing journey. You guys have to come experience it. It's been such a true blessing. 